Welcome into Fort Defiance, Arizona, here today with the Walter Cronkite Sports Network. I'm Jack Lauderay here with Gareth Kwok and Gabe Schwartz. We are here covering the Arizona State women's basketball team facing off against Baylor in the showdown on the res. Now, Gabe, I'm going to start with you. They are coming up against a really good Baylor team. What do you think the keys to success for ASU are tonight to win this game? They've just got to hang in there early. Baylor's been able to hit their opponents early and often with big runs and go off to 20-0 runs, 24-0 runs in quarters. If ASU can hang in in the first quarter, they can hang in for the game. Now, Garris, we were talking right now about hanging in in the first quarter. They played Incarnate Wood last week and started off rather slow. What do you think they need to improve on that side to be good tonight against Baylor? Well, I think it all starts with getting off to a better start on the three-point shooting. They started off 0 for 7 against Incarnate Word from three-point land. So I think that is obviously not going to cut it against this number four team in Baylor. So it's going to be having to shoot the three ball better at a better rate, better percentage, and that will be able to help keep pace with Baylor in order to keep up with pace for the entire game. If they don't shoot the three ball well in the first quarter, it might be a rough night for the rest of the night. So improving on the three ball. Now, before we go, I'm going to ask you guys the predictions. Gabe, we'll start with you. I think we're in an unusual setting. It's going to be an unusual game. I think they're going to keep it close against the Bears, but ultimately fall 78-68 Baylor. Gareth, now on to you. I think Baylor's size is a little bit too overpowering for Arizona State. It's going to be an entertaining game. A really good crowd here, but I think Baylor prevails 65-53. Baylor all the way around. Now again, Arizona State is taking on Baylor tonight here in Fort Defiance. If you want to check out all of our women's basketball content, you can check out CronkiteSports.com.